IOM Ghana has been fighting the stigma which is often attached to returning migrants for years. Stigmatization and subsequent discrimination are major obstacles for sustainable reintegration. They hamper the process of readjusting to the society of origin on several levels and the psychosocial dimension may be the most important of them. Migrants not feeling welcome and supported back in their communities are likely to suffer from mental health problems and may opt for the dangerous irregular migration again. COVID-19 has definitely made the fight against stigma and discrimination even more important, which is why with the German development agency GIZ, we included into all our relevant activities as the pandemic has caused xenophobia to rise and made many migrants' livelihoods more precarious. Stigma is a sign of discrimination that discriminates a person from others by the use of negative labeling to identify them as different. It can also be referred to as having negative attitudes towards people who we think are not normal or right. Some migrants are among vulnerable groups who sometimes for some reason face stigmatization. Families are expecting relatives to come home with wealth, money, among other things. This happens a lot, especially when they have to return home without nothing. Unfortunately, most migrants are stigmatized and this must be stopped. As COVID-19 pandemic cases continue to increase in Ghana, it will have profound impact on migrants in both economic and psychosocial well-being. The World Health Organization observes increasing number of reports of public stigmatization targeting people from areas affected by the pandemic. There is heightened social stigma and discriminatory behaviors against people who have recovered as well as anyone perceived to have been in contact with the virus, such as international migrants and returnees. People are labeled, stereotyped, discriminated against, treated separately, or experience loss of status because of perceived link with disease. Just as anybody else, young people who recover from COVID-19 stand the risk of being stigmatized in their communities. So stigma refers to using a negative labeling to identify somebody as being different. It can be linked to using negative words to tag somebody as being different from a group of people. Now, people tend to stigmatize because one, they are not in control of situations around themselves and the fear of not having valid information about the person whom they stigmatize. People are stigmatized, especially migrants, because of the group they find themselves in. And when migrants are stigmatized, it does not only affect them alone, it goes beyond the migrants to affect the people around them. Mostly, stigma is linked to a person's physical appearance or as a result of the person being part of a group or even the profession the person does. And your way of life can also from the norm and this can lead people stigmatized against you. In the case of migrants, because of the group they belong to, some of them being vulnerable, people tend to stigmatize, discriminate them to the point that some of them don't even have access to basic social amenities in their communities. To stigmatize someone is labeling or seeing a person as inferior and this is what happens in the case of migrants as I said. Some also discriminate them, that's treating them unfairly or worse than others because of the different backgrounds they may have been coming from. In the current case of COVID, migrants who are returning back home are being stigmatized as having or carrying the virus and people tend to discriminate them and not wanting to associate with them. Stigma can be towards others or it can be self-stigma. Stigma towards others is when we label others or we assume them to be different. Self-stigma is taking on or feeling affected by the cruel and harmful view of others. So either you self-stigmatize or someone stigmatizes you. And then we have what is called secondary stigma or stigma that can be said to be contagious refers to you stigmatizing 
the person and then the effect being felt by somebody who is close to the person so somebody who has COVID-19 and is being stigmatized indirectly you are stigmatizing the family the colleagues and even the frontline workers who work with these people when we stigmatize migrants we make them feel isolated and as if they don't fit in with other people it leads to loneliness worthlessness and this can lead to some of them attempting suicide because when they come back and they don't feel part of the community and they are alone they want to end it all because there's nobody to talk to there's nobody to support them some of them will not even bring out the positive skills they have acquired during their journey to the benefit of the community and for those who may even have symptoms of COVID-19 may not volunteer themselves for quarantine and will still be with us and when this happens it can increase the risk of spread of the disease stigmatizing migrants put a lot of psychological distress on them some become depressed some become anxious some would even to the point that they would not opt for um, any help that will come from the community in dealing with stigma first of all you have to avoid self-stigmatization as an individual you are not able to see yourself as worth in, with other people then you have lost it all because if you self-stigmatize that's when you give upper hand to other people to also stigmatize against you you need to stand up for yourself and refrain from self-stigmatization also let us try to, as much as possible to educate people around us as a migrant listening to me you have to be strong and prove yourself if you have some skills that you've acquired this is the time to use it to prove to people that you are not a dependent on them if you don't feel too fine within yourself always talk to somebody try to join a group and try to explain things when they need be doing this clarify the doubts that people have against you finally in doing all this you should seek help if you really need to seek help counseling is available therapy is available and even sometimes medication is available if you ever feel bad about yourself and you are not able to cope with life and things are trying to interfere with your daily functioning counseling is available therapy is available and all this helps to make you feel 